Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel. And today I want to discuss the upcoming release of the Pixel 6a. Now the Pixel 6a should be released approximately July 21st. That's the date that we have. And I'm pretty excited for this device. One, the A series of the Pixel series has always been excellent. It's stable, it's smooth, it's affordable. So I have a good feeling about this. I also am excited that Google is actually releasing it in 13 different countries and India being one of them, which I'm very happy because they seem to be left out most of the time. So what do we like about the Pixel 6a? Well, there's a few things. One, the price. It's $150 less retail than the Pixel 6. The other thing I like is it actually gives us now a smaller profile. It's 6.1 inches with the same screen resolution as the Pixel 6. So it's more pixel density within the screen, which should be a good thing. How did they save money on the Pixel 6a? Well, there's a few things that are missing from the Pixel 6, which I have right here. No wireless charging, no 90 hertz refresh rate screen, two gigs less of RAM, slightly smaller battery, and the camera hardware is from previous Pixel devices like the Pixel 5. I guess a different build quality because there's Gorilla Glass on the back of the Pixel 6, and there isn't Gorilla Glass on the back of the Pixel 6a. And there's Gorilla Glass Victus on the Pixel 6 and no Gorilla Glass Victus on the front of the Pixel 6a. It's Gorilla Glass 3. These are things to think about when you go and get them. What's similar? Basically everything else. You get the flagship Tensor chip on both the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6a. So performance wise, I don't think you'll see much of a difference at all. You're still going to have the same flagship chip that's in the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. So I don't think you're gonna have an issue with everyday use of the device. The Pixel 5 camera hardware is still at the top of the heap. At least that's my opinion, and I definitely feel that way. You can get some great photos with it. You won't have, obviously, the versatility of the latest flagships, but for a point and shoot camera, nothing to worry about. You're still gonna get 4K video recording. There's rumored to say that it has a new fingerprint scanner. We'll see what happens with the Pixel 6a. If Google updated it and it's even better than the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, that's a positive. Also, you're gonna have a stable Android 12. It's eight months in the making now. When it was first released, some people were fine with it. Some people had a lot of issues with it. It was really based upon the individual and I can't deny their issues because I've seen it upfront and personal, but I always been fine with it. Numerous security updates and feature drops and now it's a stable device. And you're gonna get all that on the Pixel 6a. You're also gonna get all the classic Pixel features. So Magic Erase is gonna be there, voice dictation is gonna be there, spam protection, direct my call, you know, all the Pixel features that we grow to love. If you are new to the Pixel family, it's a great device to start out with. You're not breaking the bank, you're paying 449 for it. I think really it's gonna be a very special device for those that have never used a Pixel and want to try out the latest affordable device. There's also gonna be three colors. It's gonna be charcoal, chalk, and sage. And again, it gives the Pixel family a smaller profile. You know, a lot of us don't wanna carry these big bulky devices around, and that's what it has. There's no wireless charging, like I said, but it does have an IP rating of 6.7 of dust and waterproof. That's great. It also has an updated five millimeter wave frequency which the Pixel 6 doesn't have, so that's another positive. I just think it's a great device because all the A-series have been a great device. Let me know your thoughts on the Pixel 6a. Are you excited for it? Do you really not care? For $150 less, the only thing you're really losing is the 90 hertz refresh rate screen, a little better build quality, the wireless charging, and the new camera hardware that's on the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. But if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and the share button, and don't forget to tap that notification bell so you could receive all the new updates for any videos that we release. This is Lenny Bonds signing off from Purposely Pixel. Thank you.